Hi, I'm Tamara Davison. Welcome back to my kitchen. It's officially fall. September's here. We're picking apples and of course tomatoes are in abundance. I'm going to teach you how to make a super simple savory tomato pie. So we're going to start out by uh, using one of our pie crusts from the farm. And this actually, if you have these it stocked up in your freezer, it just makes it all the easier. So that's what I'm going to use. And there are baking instructions that come with it, but I'm, you can just watch and see how I do it. So I stick a piece of parchment paper in, and I have pie weights that I just use over and over again, and basically they're a mixture of ceramic beads and dried beans, and I just keep using them over and over. So I'm going to fill my pie shell with these, and all this does is weight it down so that you don't get bubbles, and it, it, keeps, it helps us to keep its shape. So you want to preheat your oven to 375 and it looks like mine is ready to go. So I'm going to pop my pie shell in and cook it for about 10 minutes. While our pie shell is um, baking, I'm going to slice up the tomatoes. The recipe calls for three tomatoes. It just kind of depends on the size of your tomatoes. I think two is going to be enough, but I'm going to, so I'll just start with two. These are beautiful ripe tomatoes picked fresh from our field. So I'm just going to chop the ends off and we won't save those. And then I'm going to slice them maybe about a quarter of an inch thick. So I'm going to just layer them and give them a shake of salt because we want to draw out the juice out of these tomatoes. I think I'll cut up a little bit more here. It doesn't look like quite enough. Depends on the size of your pie shell, of course, and these ours are nine and a half inch. So again, a little shake of salt. And then if you have a colander at home, it would be nice to layer them in a colander or I'm going to use a cookie sheet. I'm just going to put them on here, flip them upside down so that the salted side is down. And now I'm going to give them another quick shake of salt. The recipe calls for a teaspoon. So I will add a little more salt as we go, but I'll just let that sit and drip into my sink and then give it a quick rinse. So while our tomatoes are draining a little bit over my sink and I've got my pie shell in the oven baking, I'm just gonna grate up the cheese and mix it with the mayonnaise. Now I've already grated up the cheese. This recipe takes two cups of cheese and I'm using a mixture of mozzarella cheese and old cheddar cheese. So to the two cups of cheese, you add three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise. And if you want to cut calories a little bit, you can cut it down to a half a cup. So I've got that mixed good. So we'll set that aside. I use this type of a garlic press. Sometimes if I'm doing a lot, then I'll chop it up. So one clove of garlic, one to two green onions. Last time I made it, I, I felt like I really needed one and a half. And the green part is great because it adds color and flavor to the tomato pie. And then fresh basil. Tomato and basil just goes together. I've got these herb scissors, so that's what I use. Let's check on our pie crust and see how it's coming along. Looks like it could use a few more minutes. It's quite set, but it just needs a little bit more time. So I'm gonna pop it in without that, just to finish it off. So we're, while our pie crust is finishing, I'm just gonna blot these tomatoes a bit more just to take a little extra juice out of them. They're not going to be dry and you actually don't want them dry but like I said if you have too much juice and field tomatoes are so juicy your pie is not going to set nicely so. Well this looks perfect and I had my oven set at 375 I'm going to turn it down to 350 to bake the remainder of my pie. Alrighty we've let our our tomatoes drain. We've cooked our shell and it looks perfect. The next step is simple, just to line 
your tomatoes in the base of your pie crust. Once you've got a good layer, then um, you sprinkle your mixture of green onions, basil and garlic over top, some fresh ground pepper and a sprinkle of salt. And then you repeat those layers. These are to big tomatoes are so big they hardly fit in the shell. That's why I like these little pieces. Looking good. And then finish it off with your mixture of green onions, basil. I like to save just a little tiny bit to garnish when I'm done. And again, a little sprinkle of salt and some more fresh ground pepper. And the next and final step is to top it with this cheese. So I've got two types of cheeses, mozzarella and old cheddar mixed with some mayonnaise. I like to use an offset knife to flatten it down and spread it on. We borrow lots of recipes from other parts of the world and this one is actually from the southern states. It's very popular in, um, in Georgia and in Tennessee. It's quite a common dish. When I've mentioned it to a few people that I make fresh tomato pie or savory tomato pie, they go tomato pie. But it's actually a delicious um, side dish. And tonight we're gonna have stuffed peppers. And I'm gonna use this as a side with my stuffed pepper. So again, that'll go lovely. Alrighty, there we have our cheese mixture. Just a tiny bit of garnish on top. Again, the, the little bit of that and we're ready to pop that in the oven. Put it in the oven for just over 30 minutes and it should be ready. Let's take a look. Looks perfect. If you found this video helpful, press the like button and subscribe for more videos.